Hey guys! I do know, before anybody says anything, that I didn't post a video for the month of February. I did film a video for my favorites for the month of February, but the audio was absolute shit because my mic was having issues. I hope that doesn't happen again today. Um, so what I did instead was I basically posted a selfie on Instagram with a complete list of all my favorites from last month. If you're interested in checking those out, um, I will insert that picture here. My tag on Instagram is down below so you can go check out my page. There's all kinds of stuff on there. But basically the February favorites list is included with this picture where my, my face looks like this. I'm wearing all my favorites from that month in that photo and they're all included in the caption. Today we're back to talk about March favorites. A lot of the products haven't changed from the ones I've used in previous months, um, but as you can see we did play with some color on the eyes, so I hope you're into that, and there are some fun new things that have been introduced into my regular routine as well. Every product that is featured or talked about in this video will be included in the description box down below, so definitely check that out. Let's get right into this. Okay, so this first category is already kind of a fail because uh, other than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, which I used like three days in a row in the middle of this month to do the last video that I posted, I didn't really reach for eyeshadow ever. Um, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I really feel like playing with color. I'm seeing a lot of more colorful looks floating around lately and I'm very eager to get back into that trend. I've been waiting for spring just for this. Um, so I'm gonna just dip into some shadows from various palettes that I have on hand that are favorites generally for that purpose, but not specifically for the month of March. I'm sorry about it. So the most of my eye look that I have planned out for today, I'm gonna do using the Originated Dream Wow, that light is crazy. The Originated Dream Eyeshadow Palette. The inside looks like this. It comes with a mirror. It's a really great palette. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get right into that. I'm not gonna get all tutorially on you. I'm probably just gonna speed through this part, but I just wanted to let you know. This is the palette I'm using for most of it. I do have a couple other palettes on hand to supplement if I need them. I know there's one particular shadow that's not in this palette that I know I want to reach for, so let's just do this thing. This is what I'm using to prime my eyes. You guys saw me use this a lot in my last video. This has been my go-to eye primer since I started testing it out. I actually really like it so far. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Okay, so this is the mess we've made on ourselves so far. Now there is another shadow that I want to reach for and place kind of right in the center of this look we've got going on because mostly just because I want to see how it looks. Um, so we all know at this point that I hold a particular affinity for ColourPop eyeshadows. Um, I have two BYOP build your own palettes on hand here that I've kind of put together a while ago and haven't really reached for in a while but have been meaning to because they're very pretty. I think the one I'm gonna go into, I kind of had them both on hand because this one has more like blending shades to supplement if I felt like I needed to neutralize anything but I'm liking the color we've got going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one shade from this other palette that I have. The shade is called Glass Bowl and it is one of the most interesting and gorgeous eyeshadows 
I think I've ever seen and I think it's just gonna hopefully work really well with what we've got going on on our lid so far. Um, so I'm just gonna pick that up on my finger and kind of press it right in the center, like where the teal meets the purple. So I'm just gonna pop it in the center. Oh yeah, I like that. My base hasn't really changed <laughs> since my last favorites video. The key difference that you're going to see is I'm using the Born to Glow concealer instead of the foundation. Disclaimer, I do not like the concealer as much as I like the foundation. I'm basically just trying to get through these and I found a way to use them for my base um, that I actually like the way that they look. Um, so this isn't really necessarily my favorite product for doing my base, but in conjunction with these other products that you're gonna see, they play very well. And this is the routine that has been my favorite way to do my base uh, for the last couple of months, really. This is how I did my base last month as well. So I am just gonna speed through this part because it's nothing really new, um, and I'm not gonna get too into detail about anything. There is actually one new thing. I'll probably pause in the middle to talk about that, but other than that, I'm not gonna get into detail about what I'm using. Okay, I just wanna pause right here to talk about something that was a new discovery for me this month that I was really excited about. Now, there's a backstory to this gift that's really kind of funny to me. Um, a couple years ago when the first To All the Boys I've Loved Before movie came out on Netflix, um, Anouk was visiting me that summer when that after that came out, and we sat and watched it together because we thought we were gonna make fun of it the whole time and it was gonna be stupid and we actually wound up really liking it. And it kind of became an inside joke with us. Well, this last trip when she came out um, and we were talking about that palette and everything, she came out literally two days after the second one uh, launched on Netflix basically. And I waited until she came out so we could watch that one together too because it's basically like an in-joke of ours. Um, it's like a, a tradition kind of, we decided and we wound up really not liking the second one. We were actually both so mad at the ending. Um, and then we were in Sephora like the next day or whatever and she was picking out my like late Christmas, birthday, Galentine's fusion gift and we came across this kind of end cap where Sephora and a few of the brands I guess had decided to do some collaborations with the second To All the Boys I've Loved Before movie. And Milk Makeup had this little glow oil lip and cheek duo. It contains the shades Glimmer and Halo. 
Um, and I basically picked that out as my gift for her to give to me because I thought it was hilarious. But the shade Halo is actually so gorgeous. And obviously it's a lip and cheek. You could wear it as a lip color as well if you want. I'm just using it as a blush for today. And I'm not gonna take it on a sponge. What I'm gonna do is pick it up on my middle and ring finger tips, quite a bit of it, and just kinda bounce it on. And I am gonna pop a powder blush on later too, because I did still reach for my Hourglass Ghost palette quite a bit this month, whenever I did actually put makeup on this month. Um, and I think they just pair really beautifully, but this is so gorgeous just on its own But I know that on like a bare face kind of day when I want to look like put together and not tired <laughs> Or like I haven't seen the Sun in a few days, which is very much the case always right now um, I know that I would literally put on like my dark circle concealer that you saw me use earlier that I wear literally every time I do my makeup love it so much um, some clear brow gel or literally just brush through my brows, curl my eyelashes, no mascara, and then pop this um, product on the cheeks and just go about my day. Like it's really effortlessly kind of gives you that nice flushed blushy look, but also gives you a really nice glow because it's like a cream oil hybrid situation. I'm even going to put a little bit on the tip of my nose, and down here, blend that out. really like that e-girl <laughs> blush look. I realized, because I watched Doja Cat's like guide to e-girl makeup video, and I realized I was like, I literally always do my blush like that. Like always. I have for a while actually, but I just think it's very funny. I think it's cute the blushy look. She's not going anywhere. That's just cute. So yeah, highly recommend this. Love it so much. Thank you, Anouk, for getting it for me. Anyway, that's really the only part of my base routine that has changed, been added in, so to speak. And I'm gonna start getting into powders now. So let's go back into fast forward mode. Okay, so you saw me use the highlight from that Hourglass palette, but there's something that I actually forgot to do earlier. Um, going back into that originated palette I used on my eyes, and there's this really gorgeous, kind of shimmery lilac shade in the center. I'm first gonna pick it up on my pinky and use it to highlight my inner corner. Now that lilac shade I just used on my inner corner, I'm also gonna pick up on a more precise kind of fluffy brush, and I'm going to basically top off my cheekbone highlight with that. Um, I've done this trick before and really, really liked the result of it. It was kind of like a 
mermaidy glam moment that I think will tie in really nicely with our eyes. So let me just indulge myself for a second. I'm literally just kind of swirling it over the highest point of our cheekbone and gently blending it kind of up and down in that area. And I'm gonna go back in with that first brush that I used with the hourglass highlighter and kind of gently blend out the edges so that the two shades more seamlessly flow together. We love a multi-purpose eyeshadow, for sure. Okay, now, um, before setting spray, I'm going to brush through my brows. I'm using the NYX Bear With Me Brow Setter. Um, literally all I ever do to my eyebrows is brush through them with a clear gel, and this has been my clear brow gel of choice for ages. Like, I wanna say since, like, the summer, whenever this brow gel launched, I don't know. It's just a really nice, lightweight gel that doesn't leave any weird like residue and it doesn't make your eyebrows crunchy. So, highly recommend. It's an awesome, affordable option. It's really great for low maintenance, makeup free days too, just to kind of tame any unruly little brow hairs that are acting up. Um, it feels like you've basically got nothing on. It looks like you've got nothing on. It just keeps the hairs in place and you can just go about your day. Of course, that step has just gotten significantly simpler since I started trimming my brows. It like cut the brow setting time in half, basically, since I started trimming the hairs a little bit. Now I'm going to set my face. I like to do this part before mascara because I, the way that I curl my eyelashes and get them to stay curled for a long time is I basically get them damp with setting spray and then curl the hell out of them. It's been my trick for that for a very long time. I highly recommend it. Definitely more than I recommend putting a hot lash curler anywhere near your eyeball. Please don't do that. So I'm using the Flower Beauty Sealed Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray. This is an awesome drugstore setting spray. And I pretty much sprayed that just down the center of my face and whatever kind of floated out to the perimeters is there. And I'm going in on the perimeters of my face and maybe one stripe down the center with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. Shake both of these up, please. Those are both just really, really nice, high performance setting sprays at a really great price point. I really recommend both of them. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Like I mentioned before, where did I put it? Oh, there. My new lash curler. I mentioned in my January favorites video that I needed to replace my lash curler and I actually did in time to film that February favorites video that never went up. But yeah, I mentioned in my January favorites video that my old eyelash curler I was using at the time was trash and I needed to replace it. And literally like a week later, I did with this one from e.l.f. It was like four bucks and it's super awesome. I definitely see a difference in my eyelashes just from making that one little change. I mentioned this in my January favorites too and it was a favorite last month, um, the Fenty Beauty Full frontal mascara. Um, I cannot believe how much I love this. I mean, I can because it's incredible. I simply mean I can't remember another time when I tried a mascara formula that was actually everything I wanted and more. Like I, this has been my everyday mascara since I picked it up um, early in February. I just haven't been able to put it down. There have been some days when I've made myself not use it and use one of my other formulas that I also love. But I talked about the Milk Kush Mascara and the NYX Worth the Hype, which are both really awesome mascaras too that I really, really love. I used Kush for a long time on days when I needed really vo volumized, like dramatic lashes, like kind of thick and chunky lashes, but in the right way. 
And the next one was for like natural lash days when I just wanted them to be accentuated but not too dramatic. And this is like the best of both worlds. Like this is giving me both at once. It's just a really, to say it's a nice mascara would be underselling it. It's just, it's literally the perfect formula, at least for me personally. And now for lip colors, um, this one's gonna be really obvious. So first of all, for lipstick, we all know ColourPop, for whatever reason, has been my number one for a very, very long time. I particularly love the Cream Lux lips, but I recently, in the last few months, have discovered a real affinity for the Velvet Blur formula. Um, Virgo Moon was my favorite lip color choice of last month. Um, but I think either at the end of February or the beginning of March, I did pick up another shade. This is California Love, and as you can see, it's just um, my go-to everyday kind of shade. So this has been a huge favorite recently. Haven't been able to stop using it. Still got a lot of love for Virgo Moon, but this is just, just a hair more my kind of everyday shade. They're just so effortless and they give you that kind of, the same kind of vibe of a matte lip without actually having to wear a matte lip, which we all know at this point, I think I'm not a fan of. So I'm loving this formula still and this new color is everything to me. But we all know I can't go without a lip gloss. And this month I did discover a new, to me, just cause I hadn't tried them before this point, lip gloss formula that I really, really dig. Um, these are the ColourPop Luxe lip glosses. Um, the shades I have right here are Tied Up and Blissful. I used both of these in my last video, I know, but they're just so pretty and they're just exactly my go-to lip gloss shades. We've got a cool kind of mauve and this, ba this soft like baby pink. Do I love these as much as the Fenty glosses? No, but they're the same vibe and they're a really awesome affordable alternative if you're looking for something along those lines. And I will say I did not, I did not reach for my Fenty glosses at all this month because I'm trying to conserve them as much as I can. But these, I haven't been able to put down since trying them out. Which one am I gonna wear today? Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with Tied Up just because I think it's gonna layer really nicely over top of that lipstick shade we just popped on. And I'm gonna pick it up on my pinky. I think I mentioned in the last video too where I use these that these are considerably more pigmented than the Fenty glosses are, so that's something to keep in mind. Ah, they smell like starbursts. Like, <laughs> they smell so good. So that's that. That is a full face of my favorites. Some of them specific to the month of March, some of them not so much. They're just favorites. I just love them. I felt like using them today. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. How many of my favorites are also your favorites? How many of my favorites do you absolutely hate. And also tell me some of your own favorite products right now. Let's start a conversation down below. I'm genuinely interested. I hope you guys are doing well during this time. I hope everyone is staying inside, sheltering in place if you can, if you have no choice but to go outside because you've been deemed an essential worker. Thank you so much for your service during this insane time. I know it's really scary, but you are appreciated now more than ever. I would argue that you guys probably should have been getting that appreciation well before this point, but we are where we are now. Um, I just hope that you guys are all staying safe and healthy. Um, yeah, and I hope that you're finding little ways to stay sane and occupy yourself like I 
clearly am. And I hope that I can kind of provide a space for us all to come together during this time and just be very supportive of one another. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Again, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. A like and a subscription are not mandatory, but highly appreciated. I hope to see you guys back here next time. Bye.